hello children i hope you're having a great day i hope you're staying safe at home okay so today i'm here to continue with the tissue chapter that we were doing in school if you remember we were discussing plant tissues okay and we had already discussed meristematic tissues remember they are actively dividing cells and they are found on the growing tips of plants in the tips of roots and stems isn't it then we had started with the permanent tissues okay and permanent tissues if you remember there were three types first one was protective second one was supporting okay and the third one was conducting so we had already finished with parenchyma a quick recap again about parenchyma they are protective tissues found on the surface of roots stems and leaves okay and the cell had thick walls okay if you remember so here you have to remember the characteristics function structure and location so moving on to colon chyma which we had then started as yet okay so today we are going to start with colon chyma now when we talk about colon chyma remember coming to the structure of colon chyma cells are elongated with cell wall thickened at the corners now when we are talking about cell walls thickened at the corner okay now here i have drawn a diagram here now the these are the corners okay here these corners where i am shading with green are very very thick the corners okay the corners are thickened these corners are thick the cell wall at the corner it is very thick so these are made up of cells which are elongated you can see how the cells are elongated and they have thick corners at the side the corners are thick okay so next is where it is found location okay so it is found on the leaf stalks you know what leaf stalk is it is the short stem which connects the leaf to the stem okay and it is also found below the epidermis now when we are talking about the epidermis if you remember we are talking about uh the tissues the cells when we see under a microscope so the first layer are barrel shaped cells okay covered by a cuticle and the first layer of cells is known as epidermis okay now the function is since it is a supportive tissue so it supports the plant parts now you know that uh, since it is found on the leaf stalk it supports the leaf to stand erect okay now next we come to sclerenchyma okay sclerenchyma comes from the word scleros scleros means hard okay now they are made up of that means this is the structure they are made up of long narrow cells which have become dead okay when we are talking about long and narrow cells long thin narrow means they are very very thin and remember these cells are dead they are not living these cells have very thick walls due to deposition of lignin actually the cell wall is made up of if you remember it is made up of cellulose 
Now, in case of sclerenchyma, the cells have become very thick due to the deposition of lignin. Lignin is the part which is hard. It hardens the cell wall. Okay, now location of sclerenchyma, where it is found? It is found in the stem and veins of leaves. Okay, and the function since it is dead it is hard so naturally what does it do it provides it or it gives strength it gives strength to the plant parts where it is present okay one example a common example you know the shells of walnuts hard shell outside or of peanuts okay the or the hard shell outside which you do not eat, which you discard, walnut shells, peanuts, okay? And sometimes the seeds are also hard. Inside the hard portion, you find the soft seed. So the hard protective layer of the seeds, what is it made up of? It is made up of sclerenchyma, okay? Now, parenchyma, cholenchyma and sclerenchyma are called simple tissues, why? Because they are made up of only one type of cell, a single type of cells. The type of cells is the same. It is not different. Okay. Now, next moving on to conducting cells. Now, these conducting cells are complex tissues. Okay. Complex tissues. Why are they called complex? Because they are made up of different types of cells not the same type of cells okay so parenchyma colenchyma sclerenchyma are simple tissues whereas conducting tissues are complex tissues now conducting tissues are also known as vascular tissue so what is another name for conducting tissue vascular tissue so there are two types of conducting tissue conducting means taking things from one place to another place so you know xylem carries water from the roots to the leaves and phloem carries manufactured food from the leaves to different parts of the plant. Now coming to the structure of xylem. Xylem cells are elongated and thick wall, long and it has a thick wall. The cells are in the form of tubular passages like a pipe so that water can move in the upward direction. The xylem tissue consists of, okay, the different types of cells are known as tracheids and vessels, xylem parenchyma and xylem fibers. So this is the structure of xylem, okay. Now older xylem is known as wood. You all know what wood is. So as xylem becomes older and older, it becomes hard, then it is known as wood. Now you know what is the function of xylem. It carries water from the roots to the leaves or wherever it is required okay now next we move on to phloem okay now phloem the structure of phloem okay it is made up of sieve tubes companion cells phloem parenchyma and phloem fibers okay now that is the structure of phloem actually these are the various structures that make up the phloem and of course they are made up of different types of cells that is why xylem and phloem they are known as complex tissues okay now function of phloem you know it carries prepared food from leaves to other parts of the plant okay now xylem and phloem okay collectively together they are known as vascular bundles what are they known as vascular bundles okay now, example of vascular bundles are 
leaf veins. So where do you find vascular bundles? You find it in the leaf veins. That means in the leaf veins you find both xylem as well as phloem. Okay. And I already told you xylem and phloem are called complex tissues. Why? Because they are made up of different types of cells. So children with this we come to the end of plant tissues. Okay. In the next upload I am going to explain animal tissues to you. Now please remember to go through figure 3.5 and 3.7 on page number 25 of your textbooks and figure 3.8 on page number 26 of your textbooks. Have